What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off what happened last time, we conclusively destroyed an entire Georgian army that was trying to attack us. And now we are going to Sally to break the siege of another army that's attacking us. And it's too bad they've got such a poor army. So let us break them down the same way we broke down the previous army. We are going to need a fair amount of expansion in our forces because we've got we're going to have the remnants of those Georgian stacks running around being frustrating unless we take their regions to the north and we've also got a fairly large stack to the south so we're going to do the same thing as we did last time I'm going to take advantage of the fact that we have more artillery to force them towards me to do battle if I anchor myself against the town, that should give us... I may even deploy this Israeli unit here, just constantly in square to act as a bit of a breakwater, backed up by a unit of Bashis. Maybe this small unit too. To prevent any cavalry insurgents on the flank. Let's combine... Let's combine Israelis and the Semenes out on this flank as well. Ready to probably push up. Now we've got some garrison Islamic swordsmen. Lovely. So let's put the Bashis deployed on the right. You guys can deploy here, waiting. Feline can deploy on the left, waiting. Mamluks on the right. On, well, put too much to all of my cavalry on the left, ready to exploit any breakouts. General on the centre. Oh god. That's funny. Let's do this. Pivot our position just a little bit. Come on, don't go side on. There we go. So we're selling, but we have. We're selling, so we are on the offensive, but we've got all the artillery, and they don't. So. If they decide not to attack us they're going to be in a world of hurt because we'll be able to pick at them with our artillery for as long as we want it looks like most of their effort is going on to the left but our artillery is having a field day and this nearest unit will actually to us they both will switch to canister shot because it looks like they do want to charge my guns so if you guys better reload pretty ricky tick although their cavalry is gone most of it is anyway. Got one unit charging on the right, which is a bit of a concern because these guys don't have square formation. But this is why we have our melee infantry here. And we'll also engage this regiment of horse at range. Cavalry's coming back. So let's get our Artillery to start firing canister shot. Let's get ready to recall our bashies. Yep, they broke again. Let's come back again. And it's routing again. Yeah, these guys. I could fl I could start to curve this right flank around, but I've not really got the strength. Certainly not compared to the left. And they're a bit stuck because they don't want to sit back. However, they certainly don't have the strength or the army composition. To successfully push. That was an excellent shot right into the core of the 7th Regiment of Front. So much so, let's force their hand somewhat. Yeah, 
go on and advance you guys around. You're not going to be out there for very long. Charge the general's bodyguard with the camel nomads. There they are. Good, they're not going to successfully counter charge us. Looks like they are absolutely giving up this entire flank. So let's deploy our infantry. Deploy our melee infantry. Oh, I'm in slow mo. All things are going very slow. Oh, we're all General's bodyguard. And now they're pushing in, which is good. Killed their general. Let's just position our... Good. Our Ottoman our unit of water is getting shot from friendly fire. So they are maintaining strength on this far flank. Will it be enough? Especially with the constant. Okay, let's deploy the Mamelukes around. Let's get my general to start curving around too. Oh, yes. Straight in, boyos. going to this unit. This camel unit is going to do a hell of a lot of good. Absolutely we're going to continue. Let's halt artillery fire. And let's just watch the carnage. So just focus on maximum damage. I want this unit out here to, to, to kill that unit quickly. You kill them. Do a lot of damage to them. Good, and I'll go kill that unit. My camels can do as much core damage to the troops as they can. I don't like sending my infantry chasing people down. Um, that's why my infantry is kind of just sat there. It looks like they're going to be fairly unsuccessful in killing lots of units. Avoid this unit because they're going to take a while to kill. Instead, go up here and chase them down. To be honest, they're all going to do that, except for maybe my general. You guys can do clean, clean up operations here. Let's get everyone else to start chasing down that core bunch. So, my general may get the infantry kill unit here. An infantry unit kill, I should say, here. Okay, these guys are going to rout. They're going to rout. Yeah, pretty decisive. We've broken their strength once more. For the loss of 127 men. <laughs> We've cut their army in half. Beautiful. And let's spend the money. Oh, we can't rebuild the School of Poetry. But we can recruit a unit of Riskers of Souls. Cool. Let's check out if we can trade with anyone new. Not the Italian states. They hate us. 
Okay. Venice has taken Tripoli, eh? Not for long, they won't. We'll kill them. Okie dokie, so you are still... You're being slowly converted towards Islam. But when this madras is built, I can send my agent here out to Sophia to help increase religious unrest. And it's almost start to, pr start to prep the front line for when we eventually push. Baghdad was besieged, but it is no longer. Let's hit end turn. Awesome stuff. So I am playing the Ottoman campaign. I will be playing with my Ottoman armies differently, sort of, than I would play my European armies. I did envisage a bit more flanking with my melee units. I think as I start to rely less on Fellaheen, and I have more units like Israelis and advanced units to hold the centre, I'm more likely to have melee units around the flanks to kind of, well, to flank around. Right now they're supporting my Fellaheen divisions with close combat support. And they want to try it on again. How cute. But this is their last turn. After this, the capital is mine. So, I'm sad to say, I think the Persians are about to lose Esfahan, which currently has, in the Iranian Air Force service, has got Tomcat's base there, if I think, if I remember correctly. Um, whoops, sorry, I just whacked my microphone, which is one of my favourite aircraft. Okay. Very little skill to be shown here. I thought that would work. If I stretch the units far enough, they may. I thought they might successfully deploy in front of this little ridge here. Let's deploy Fellin on one flank, Israeli on the other flank, or at least most of my Israeli. You guys, I forgot about you guys. Here. Deploying my melee infantry ready. I mean, I'm less less concerned about using cavalry now. Well, there, there is less concern about using cavalry now. Come on. Especially as look, they're already suffering from morale problems. Just push the cam push the camels up. Push the general up. Get all the ca all the artillery to focus on this largest unit of camels, and this should be beautiful. Expert gunners. Some of my horsemen are around on the flank. You guys probably aren't going to make it. So probably do something like this instead. We're about to make all there. Campbell's rounds. Watching for the artillery rounds coming in. Here they come. Oh, damn. This horseman took a licking, and they're also going to be engaged by my musketmen at maximum range. Yeah, it's the end of you. So let's start to more independently target these fellows. flank just run them up I don't have to worry about keeping them in good health it's 
straighten out these fellaheen. Yeah, these camel gunners are in an unfortunate spot. Because they can't really push any particular flank. Whoop, microphone slipped off. And they can't really push it on any particular flank. They've not got the firepower to do much damage organically. Although they are charging. So I might even leave my guys out in this formation just to get some shots off to make them rout first. Yeah, there they go. Let's push them up. Because these camel mercenaries are now... They've given up the ghost. As they're getting shot down. In you go, Bashi Bazooks. There we go. Now the beautiful work of my units firing by rank is going to start showing their quality. Treat my Bashi Bazooks. Come on, you guys need to make ready. He's ran far too far forward. Go on, Camels. Go get the Terry to take out that unit of dervishes. These poor souls. A, you're engaging my musketmen straight on. And they're also being shot on the flank by the 11th. So they too are unhappy with the current system. Go on, Terry to fight the bowmen. To fire on the bowmen. They're also very unhappy with the state of affairs. They're routing through my army, which is lovely. Look at that. Just absolute destruction. Let's charge forward, ready to hit that unit of dervishes. If we target my artillery against all of my artillery against this one unit of musketmen. This is a bunch of levy. Need to do anything with that. Thank, thanks to these dervishes routing through my units, we got a free kill on a dervish unit. Charge my camels in, because why not? Guys around on the flank entirely. Yeah, the levy have been broken, the unpopulous have been broken, the bowmen are coming back. But I fear it is all for naught. The general's been killed, I think it must be the reinforcing units, the captain we killed. Come on, this unit of the 11th. Oh, but, um, maybe just three men ish. I think that's it. Oh no, there's one unit of dervishes right at the back, which if I focus with artillery. I'm speeding up because right now the battle's more or less over. Stop them from engaging so they don't kill my. So they don't kill my uh, infantry that I'm going to charge in.
artillery can hit the bowmen as much as they like. In fact, they should. Yep, in, in comes the artillery. I'm pretty sure that's then broken. We don't need to continue, but I'm going to, just to get experience on my general. He's not going to let these Persians live after they so deftly caused us problems. I want to break their existence, their faction, into the four winds and scatter them through space. It will teach you to attack the mighty Ottoman Empire. Damn right it was decisive. I keep saying that. I say that too often. But that was lovely. 1,770 men lost for loss of 190 of ours. I'm surprised they've not tried to attack us with CERN thing. I mean, you can raid if you like, but heaven forbid you do anything useful to your faction. And it's actually quite nice they've charged north. Um, because we can then send our Baghdad garrison north to keep them on their toes as well as the Georgians. Ooh, and the garrison wants to sally out against these this army, which I'm a bit less confident about, but let's do it. We want to deploy right at the back, because our army is very small. We've got lots of melee troops. So I'm going to try and do some flanking around with those. We've also got some Delhi horsemen. Um, but because we've got such a small force of infantry, and it's raining, our gunnery is going to be even worse. Okay, deploy our guns right at the back on this section of hill. Deploy two units infantry here. Two units of infantry here. Deploy the Seminis on one flank. Deploy the Azars on the other. Eh, Zars aren't too bad. Just group them together. Put a unit of cavalry on each flank. General's probably going to have to get involved as well, like it or not. Now the infantry gather them on the left. So I'm going to speed up time, just because right now they want to wander around. I'm going to run my Zemandari horsemen over onto this flank, because it looks like this is where the focus of their effort is going to be. As soon as their men abandon their howitzers, good. Probably going to be tempted to... Reorganise my line. Maybe even deploy a bit back so we're not sat. We don't give them that uh, defilade of this hill. attack the mortar garrison unit but I'm not so bothered about that it's more the infantry that's heading our way so let's push the unit of infantry up the gap because they've got some units coming in on the left more provincial line and garrison militia But 
But if I could charge them with my melee infantry, that might work out quite well. What I mainly want is their infantry to die. Well, not their infantry, their um, artillery to die. Which it is, which is always nice. So folks on this unit of artillery of infantry is marching our way. There we go. Field artillery is broken. So now let's make this a bit more of a conventional fight. Gun the cavalry in. Assemblies on the flank, they're going to be a bit pants, but what are you going to do? It's going to be bashies to creep up this hill, because they're walking and hidden, which is nice. And my Azars maybe as well. So they've got the Tartars back there, Garrison Militia back there as well. Any horsemen can engage. Can you guys skirmish cavalry or something? Let's get my Zamandari horsemen to skirmish with the enemy. Good, I saw an artillery bounce shot hit close and I just. The artillery hasn't come back, has it? It's got a bit of a cavalry skirmish on the right. No, there's their mortar. Ooh. Oh no, it was just highlighting their mortars themselves. So you're allegedly under artillery attack. Try to take out their, their artillery pretty ricky tick. I'm pretty sure I can massacre this militia garrison fairly well. Good, push the Seminis up to help support this main fight. Can you guys walk hidden? No. It's tempting to do something like this. Ooh, a lot of cavalry dying for my guys back. Focus my artillery, they're reinforcing infantry that's marching out now. Move my riskers of souls actually, maybe to hit the flank of their army that's sailing out. My Bashi Bazook should be able to do short work. Or to put these guys up. Well, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Run my riskers of souls around the back. Let's make sure they, they actually rout. Shattered. Mm, keep my cavalry back for now. Push these guys up. I was asked to engage these guys on the flank just to make them upset. And they are very upset. They're very upset about being fired on. OK, 
Okay, let's deploy my cavalry. Okay, let's fire my artillery at the militia because these guys are forming up. The risk of souls are going to go straight in. My infantry unit's going to hit the 13th. Looks like that might be it. I forgot my general all the way back here. Let's hold my artillery fire. Absolutely continue. You guys hold fire. My bashies are going to go into town on them. And let's speed up time. Let's get my general involved. Yeah, get my bashies out of the way. So you charge over there, get my bashies out of the way this way. Yeah, just do lots of damage to them, don't worry about specifically trying to get lots of kills although these guys are actually pretty out of the way and we've still got one unit at the back over there being chased down by my riskers of souls Let my cavalry do the work. You guys just get the hell out of the way. Charge my Delhi horsemen! Fly! Destroy. You declared war on me, remember? I'm gonna salt the earth. Although I'm not actually, because you're going to be my region. Let's be slaughter your provincial militia. You cannot stop us. Close. It was a bit, a bit of a coin toss and coin toss, coin toss in the middle. If the morale went the wrong way, but look at that. That was lovely. It was three to one, more than three to one ratio. Please feel free to raid, Georgia. There's nothing else you can do. No one can stop us now. Oh, and you're sabot or someone's sabotaging our buildings. So they've marched up from the south. Let's repair the farm. They're very unhappy, so they're probably going to destroy this school. May even be two of them. There is. Although, there is the potential to actually keep one. They are both just schools. Let's destroy this one. I doubt there'll be a third. Turkish bath, trading ports. Pretty sure it's just the two schools. I'm going to exempt you from tax. I'm going to rebuild some of your buildings to help cheer you up. I'm going to rebuild the School of Poetry. I'm going to take this army that's fairly, that's fairly, uh, well, in fairly good nick. Let's march them out of the city to the march east. Let's pick up some Desert Warriors. See, probably you can get more ammunition. Desert Warriors look pretty good. But I don't really want those. I'm probably going to want Bashis and Israeli. So I'm going to build two of those. And I'm going to upgrade 
The Damascus Cannon Foundry. It's quite a cheap win. Hey, we recruited our grenadiers who are going to march up towards Tbilisi. You guys can withstand us for three turns, which is understandable. But you've not got many troops to do it with. So yeah, Persia's ours, but we've just got to see how well we can hold it. And this guy is going to go and attack Amin Nizkad. However, looking at the timer, and it looks like they've done a lot of consolidation and reinforcement. Um, I'm going to end the part here. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for, I think, the expulsion of the last... Persian forces out of Iraq. Cheers everyone.